Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, at the moment, drinking coffee hmm, because I have some amazing charts to share with you. It's Sunday morning, it will be a short but really powerful TA video as I found some really crazy charts I haven't seen before and I'm going to share them with you today. These are really cool. Watch the video till the end and do enjoy my new bracelet. The Bitcoin family token logo in a bracelet combined with the B. B! <laughs> I'm so happy guys. Okay, now let's jump into this chart because it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to count down. Three, two, one, bam! first chart this is the four hour chart and yesterday we talked already about this four hour chart i told you yesterday when we were here at the bottom we are probably going to be reversing and then going to the top and then coming down to the bottom and then breaking out to the top we could also break down to the bottom both possible if we break down to the bottom we will be going below 30k which will be difficult because i think it's a huge area of support but to look at the pattern now playing out, we touched that bottom, we even wicked through it, and now we are going up again. Now we are running into that red line, and that red line on the chart is the two, the 21. Oh, sorry, ooh, the 21 moving average, and that is the line we need to break against. This is on the four-hour chart, guys. So we are running in that resistance and if we break that resistance we can even reach the top and if we reach the top is 39,000 we could be again reverse or break out we can also hit the resistance over here and then come back to the bottom all possible as long we keep higher lows intact I don't see any bearing bearish thing uh, on the chart till now guys let's jump into the next chart BAM this one oh some warnings this one was the golden cross you know when i said uh, the bearish cross sorry that we can go down and then cross the red line it would be a bearish cross that would be very bearish very negative not good for the market that would mean the price will go lower i can already see that it starts to slow down a little bit i think we will go and turn up again i don't think think we will see that crush cross oh my god wait some coffee too many mistakes Hmm, I'm ready. Bam, next chart, this one. Okay, this one also talked about. We talked about here the hash ribbon. If we get a blue dot on the bottom of the screen, yes, on the bottom, if we get a blue dot over there, would mean the ultimate buy moment. And no, the blue dot doesn't need to be connected to that green dot because if you look back in the past, okay, this one is over there, it's connected directly to all the green dots. Here, look. There is a space in between. We can even make a smiley out of it. Do you see? Like a smiley. <laughs> so the green dot was there. And the blue dot happened on the 12th of July. So the green dot was on the 22nd of June. And the blue dot the 13th, 14th of July. The green dot was on the 17th of May. So we can still make that... Um, we can still make that blue dot. So don't be fooled by the system. It can also appear later. And still, uh, on the 25th, again, yes, we made that bottom like we did here as, as well and there as well. All these circles are around the 25th and we bottomed that again. And we can see in this one over there, in January 21, that yes, we formed a double bottom and we are forming the double bottom here as well. So for me, not freaking out at all. Bam, let's jump into this one. For this one, I need to check if my face is in the screen. I have such a big face. <laughs> no, it's not in the screen anymore, guys. Um, yes, you can see this is... Um, where am I? Uh, I need to go back here. This is the Bitcoin NVT price. You can see that every time that we dip in March 2020, for example, we return above that one line. When we dip here, we return above that one line. When we dip here, 
you can see that we are already returning up and then we're going down again and now we need to go up again and return above that one line we can see the same movement here we went down up down up if you look very close maybe i can zoom in for you guys let's see down we went up and we went down and then we came up and now you can see the same happening we went down we went up we went down and now we need to go up again and then when we go up the bitcoin price will go above the nvt price again like you can see if you look to the left we always move above the nvt price when we go down the nvt price we need to recover and come above the nvt price and the nvt price at the moment is 55,000 us dollar so that means that we need to recover above that 55,000 us dollar guys bam yes commercial time if you want to trade all these charts or the bam or the tiktok indicator all the things that we have created if you want to trade them please use our referral link at the moment you can get up to a 2610 us dollar bonus at bybit that's a special offer guys that's a lot of bonus and yes i could say five thousand dollar bonus if you calculate all the stuff with each other but this is the bonus i'm going to uh, refer to and you register and claim your rewards by clicking this link so if you click this link you will go to bybit it will take you 20 seconds or 10 seconds to make an account and then you can claim the bonuses after words also prime xbt 50 percent bonus machina trader make sure you sign up to that one already buy a bit 90 dollar bonus durex 300 dollar bonus and a binance you will not get a bonus but you will always be also be supporting the bitcoin family so please use our referral links because we use the fees to help poor people all over the world and now we are going to jump in the most exciting part of the charts because i have some awesome charts and you really need to see those charts like my face was again in the front of that from there but now let's jump into this chart guys this boom oh these charts are going to be really cool you will want to see all of them one by one because these are going to make you happy on Sunday morning. It is Sunday lazy morning. Yeah, how's the song? Yeah. Monday. Move. <laughs> I fuck you. You can't sing. Um, look, guys. This one is comparing the Bitcoin current price with the 2013 move that we saw. You know the two circles I'll be always be talking now. If you look now at the Bitcoin price, the white line and the blue line was 2013. You can see we are kind of moving the same way as in 2013. And at the moment we dipped out over there, that is the moment that the huge bull run started to thousand dollar again in 2013. If we copy the full move, we will go to more than 190,000 US dollar. We could even go to just below 300,000 US dollar over there, guys. That is a really interesting chart. Let's jump into the next chart because this one is not the only one. Bam! then we are here now guys very cool chart as well why is this a very cool chart because if you look at this chart you can again see 2017 now and that one compared to 2021 we had the zero point then we had the first move the peak second peak a third peak a fourth peak and then we had bam a crash now look what is happening now in 2021 we had that one we had the first peak second peak third peak fourth peak bam a crash yes i would have loved to know that up front but i didn't i didn't see the chart up front now i see the chart now can i analyze the chart so nothing strange after that dip bam we went up after this dip bam we will go up next chart did he bam this one i think is also a really a uh, cool chart to see because here again we are comparing all the bull markets the yellow one is the 2013 one the orange one is the 2071 and the pinkish one is the 2021 one <laughs> yeah 21 one so now look at that area guys look please look at this area that is why it is like highlighted that is the moment where we are now we are around the 155 days after this moment over there and now what does that mean that does mean that the other bull runs after that moment 155 days we saw a dip we saw a dip and we are seeing the dip now again and after that dip in all the situations in 2013 and 2017 we made that massive up run and you can see that the all-time high was reached you know after 289 days over there in 2013 
oh, okay, uh, in 2017, after 287 days there in 2013. So that would mean that the bull run peak this year would be around 15 September, 13 September to 15 September. If we would copy the same move we have been copy done the, the previous bull runs, we would end with this bull run in September. I, I can't make the charts more beautiful. Let's go into the next one. Bam, maybe I can. Here, this is also a very important chart. Because if you look at this chart, you can see that we compare 2013 now um, to 17 with 2017 to 21. If you look at the chart, you can see the top of 2013 till June 2017. We went times three in price and we saw a 38% correction after. In total, that took 875 days. Now, December 2017 to April 2021, and now it's already June, so we could, this is all the charts, so we could pull it through to June. We went times three and we had a correction of 50%. That's the one I drew on it because the chart was a little bit old, outdated. I upgrade, I updated the chart. 50% correction in 850 plus April, May, June, 60. So again, 900 days. 900 days. So in the same area, we had a huge pullback after forming this beautiful run. After forming this beautiful run. So yes, after that, we still went up. After this, we will still go up, in my opinion. The, the, I know the charts look messy now, but that's how they need to look. And then we go to the last two charts, really cool charts. Bam! This one first. Because this one is very interesting. I need to put my face again somewhere there now. Yes, that's a good place, Didi. I will go back here and I will up here. Because why is this interesting? If we look at the halving in 2016, this moment in July on the 9th of July and if we then calculate 370 days later 72 days later we see a huge dip of check this box 55% so 55.2% exactly after 370 days after the halving this is way cool because now we are going to look at this chart and this chart will show you exactly the same bam here magical the same let's see if my face is correct yes it's okay this chart is showing you the same this is the halving in 2020 in may i still hope you remember that we did a halving last year and now we are going to calculate again those 370 days and exactly after those 370 days, we did a huge dip. And how big do you think the dip was? 50%. This is exactly the same like we saw here. This is exactly the same like we saw here. 372 days, 50% dip after the halving. 373 days, 50% dip after the halving. So what do you think that now will happen after this dip? If we look back at this one, what happened after the dip? After the dip, we went bam, up. And that was only the run to around 4,000 US dollar. And we still went to 20,000 US dollar after that. So what do you think that will happen after this dip? I think after this dip, we will again run up. And it will only be the run to the 100k. And the dip and that run to 100k will then be extended again to maybe two to 300k, like we saw on the first two charts that I already shared with you today. This could be the target over there. So I hope this video gave you an amazing Sunday morning. Yes, a little bit less energy 
But I want to keep it chill on Sunday morning. I can't still calm the thing on the song. Uh, but guys, I hope you really enjoyed the, the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment as I love to read them. But also love to respond them, uh, to them when I have the time. Um, I'm going to chill the fuck out today because it's Sunday morning. And I still don't know which song it is. It's a lazy song. It's on, on a Sunday morning. Fuck it. But I'm going to chill out. It's my last day in Mexico. So that's um, why I need to make this video. I need to also emotionally uh, cut myself loose from this beautiful view and everything, the sound of the birds. Because um, from Monday we will fly again and then I will be in Europe. That's a little bit less tropical, but still beautiful because we're going to do a lot of stuff there. Really cool stuff. As one of them is building that village in Portugal. But I will keep you up to date on that, of course, as well. Thanks for watching. Um, did I already say, give it a thumbs up? Yes, I said it. Thanks for watching. See you later today, maybe in the English AMA. And if not, see you tomorrow again. Bam!